Meanwhile, state senators today held a donation drive in front of the state capitol. And if you missed it today, there will be another one tomorrow to help those affected by the fires on Maui. They're accepting toiletries, diapers, formula, clothing of all sizes, bedding, household goods, and non-perishable foods. Bottled waters are discouraged at this time. We wanted to just do whatever we can to help the people of Maui. Uh, this is what makes Hawaii special. You, you see the line of cars from 10 a.m. It's been steady. Uh, the, the things that you see, uh, volunteers here. The donations will be brought to Maui overnight. The drive starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and it lasts until 2 in the afternoon. There's two drop-off locations right up front at the entry level and at the Capitol parking lot along Miller Street. The Hawaii Chamber of Commerce is helping local businesses impacted by the wildfires through their business relief fund. All proceeds will benefit businesses looking for assistance to recover and rebuild. Donations can be made online or by check. For more information on how you can help, head to our website, kitv.com slash links. Right now, there is a price freeze for the island of Maui. That means that items necessary for the health, safety, and welfare of the people must be sold at pre-emergency price levels. The state today announced it will remain in effect until the end of the month or until it's terminated or superseded by a separate emergency proclamation. If a merchant price gouges, they could be ordered to pay restitution and a fine of up to $10,000.